I visited many European capitals in my lifetime, but only one stands out as the foodie capital of Europe, Berlin. I believe so because of four specific reasons, and reason number four I think is the most important, and it is this specific blurred out food. Care to guess what it is? Stick around until the end of the video to find out. Reason number one, Berlin is so big and so multicultural that the choices for food are nearly endless. Do you want to try traditional German breakfast? Well, I have just the place for you. Butterbrot in Oranienstrasse. Getting ready to eat the farmer's breakfast and the cheese board. Look at it, the farmer's breakfast. Yeah. I'm so excited, yes. Look at the cheese platter. And then of course, for breakfast. And they brought us some marvelous German bread too. Let's try the farmer's breakfast. This is ridiculous how well it is. Veal for breakfast. It's great. Did you get out of the rain and you want something to warm you up? Of course you do. Well, have a steaming bowl of pho at pho. They even bring you a hot cup of jasmine tea while you wait for your bowl of soup. And I think a nice pho is always welcome on a rainy day. It's just perfection. Perhaps you want to sample multiple foods in one place. Then you can visit one of Berlin's multiple food markets like Martale or Mauer Park on Sundays. There I tried my very first currywurst. Let's yet again find the most unflattering angle. <laughs> this is how it looks like. Cheers. Maybe skip this, I don't know. Foodies, Social Blade says we're gonna reach 1000 subscribers in four months. And View Stats thinks we're gonna do so in six. So please subscribe and help us get there by 1st of January 2025 to prove both of them wrong. Reason number two Berlin's food scene is so competitive that a lot of places are serving excellent dishes. Even at a cliche tourist place near Checkpoint Charlie called Maximilian's, I had a perfect meal. I had white sausage with pretzel and sweet German mustard, followed by German roast gravy and knudel. And of course, excellent beer. Let's do more unflattering angles. Apologies about this. White sausage. Dipping into the sweet mustard. That's good. And let's try white sausage. And pretzel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For the next act, let's try the German roast. A bit of roast and a bit of potato dumpling. Mm -hmm. it's so good. And what is this? Is it another dumpling? I recommend this 100%. Do you want to eat at a phenomenal restaurant serving authentic Korean food? Look no further than Maru in Friedrichshain. Do you want to try phenomenal tteokbokki or yojaman, Korean fried chicken or bulgogi? Or you are in the mood for amazing barbecue? Then go to Ushido near Mauer Park to have phenomenal wagyu beef and an amazing yuzu orangeade to blow the socks of your feet. It's a 10 out of 10. The wagyu beef is so tender, so juicy, and fatty, but in a good way. And they bring you so much, they're not skimping at all. So definitely, if you are a carnivore, this is paradise for you. You should check it out. The third reason why you should visit Berlin is because Berliners really know their way around sandwiches. I ate a lot of egg sandwiches in my life, 
and I make a mean egg sandwich at home. But the best egg sandwich I had in my life was at Brex in Berlin, of course. This egg sandwich was perfect, savory. The bread was fluffy and the eggs were pillowy and the bacon was crunchy enough but not overburned. It was as if the chef there recipe tested this specific egg sandwich for my taste only. It was a 10 out of 10. I recommend it without any hesitation. At a small independent cafe called Fraulein Wild near Oranienstrasse, I had one of the best cream cheese and smoked salmon bagels of my life. The salinity of the capers, the sweet onions, the really good quality of the salmon, all together it made for a perfect sandwich experience. I would definitely recommend it, but also I would go there to eat again their marvelous mini pancakes. The final extraordinary sandwich I ate, if you are loose with definitions, was the Fleischermeister at Bergermeister at Kottbasser Tor. It was the filthiest, greasiest, in a good way, smashburger of my life. I know it was a chain, but it really surprised me. The final and most important reason you should visit Berlin is to try Döner Kebab. I know that it was brought to Germany by Turkish immigrants, but it was adapted to the local tastes because from what I understand is quite different from how it is served in Turkey. But what the Turkish immigrants made is truly remarkable. When I was trying to decide where to eat my very first Döner Kebab, I followed Andong's recommendation to get the quintessential kebab at Turm near Turmstase. I've already taken my first bite, but I'll give you the second one. Mm, mm, mm. It was really great and I actually loved the feta-esque kind of cheese that they added to it. The exterior was crispy, the interior was nice and tender and moist, but it didn't wow me. I would give it an 8 out of 10. But now I have to talk about the dinner that almost made me reconsider my top 10 foods of all time and almost dethroned my favorite Greek gyros, which I had in Athens back in 2008. I wish I did record the things that I ate and where I ate them at, so that now I could revisit that place and compare these gyros up against this perfect kebab that I ate in Berlin. Before talking about the Duner, I have to set the scene. Me and my brother visited Berlin on a bank holiday, and most of the places were closed, so we decided to go for a walk at Alexanderplatz, which is usually such a busy place, but it's full of very overrated places, so we had very low expectations. And we did a quick Google search and found this place that has 4.7 stars out of 5 serving Duner Kebab called Duner Inn. And indeed, it was the best Duner Kebab I've had in my life. And this was perhaps because we arrived so late and we were so hungry, or because the place wasn't that busy and the people working there could devote time and effort to our each individual kebabs, or perhaps because we gotten the beef kebabs, which is my favorite type of beef, or, but for this I'm not entirely sure, because they used actual slices of beef, or they did the whole beef meatloaf kind of thing excellently. Nevertheless, it was pure bliss, a bite of nirvana. Perfection. Okay, let's try the first dinner. <laughs> the meat was perfectly seasoned and tender and moist, and the bread was airy and light and perfectly toasted. And the sesame seeds bring another element of crunch and a depth of flavor adding more complexity to what it seems to be a simple dish. This fantastic dinner is an enough reason to visit Berlin. And along with all these other fantastic dishes I've shown you in this video, together they make Berlin the foodie capital of Europe. Foodies, what do you think? Have you tried any of the dishes I mentioned in this video? 
Have you gone to any of the restaurants? Do you have any future recommendations for me to go to when I am in Berlin again? Let me know down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, then I'm letting the algorithm choose another video just for you. Until the next time. Bye.